Grill Sergeant here. In today's video, we are going to be comparing and testing out some meat slicers. We're going to look at their specs, price points, their pros and cons, and hopefully by the end of this video, this will point you in a right direction for what meat slicer is best for you and your family. So both of these meat slicers come from Vivor, and these are two of many meat slicers that they offer. But in my book, these two are pretty much the top ones to look at. To my left here is the Vivor 7.5 inch meat slicer. A little while back, I did a spicy jerky video and this was the meat slicer that I got to use. And this handled and did the job very, very well. But today we are gonna try something that is brand new to me and it is their commercial line. It is their 10 inch meat slicer. Even though they're somewhat similar in that they're both meat slicers, that's pretty much where they split up. And then the features are going to be dependent on what you're actually looking for in a meat slicer. One of the features I love most about the 7.5 inch meat slicer, when you're done using it, it gets extremely compact for easy storage. The glide of the meat slicer, you can take out, this actually folds down flat and then the base itself collapses and it folds up into a very, very compact position. That is game changing for me because I do not have a lot of space in my kitchen. So if something can be compact to this size, it is very easy to store away. You do also get a serrated bread blade as well, along with the meat slicing blade. But if you have the room, the commercial line might be the option to look at. It is about $100 more, but you also get a lot more bang for the buck. Power alone, it's about three times as more powerful. This is a 150 watt powered motor comparing to this one you're using uh, about 48 watts of power the rail system is probably what i like most about this this is just buttery smooth when you're actually sliding it whereas this one uh, i mean it gets the job done but the rail system on this you just it's night and day different only part of the blade here is actually exposed and what I realized on the other one, you pretty much had the full blade that was spinning. So when you'd actually take your meat and start slicing it, sometimes the meat itself would stick to the blade and want to turn on you. Up at the top here is your sharpening device, how this works. You can actually lift this up, spin this around, drop this down, and you basically have two sharpening stones in here and that will help you run and maintain and sharpen your blade. That is pretty cool when you're done using that. It folds up and out of the way. Down here you have this knob and this will actually be the blade depth and it goes all the way from 0 to 12. You know this can do pretty much all the way up to half inch stakes and then you can get it down as thin as you'd like your deli meat sliced. Down at the base, you actually have four rubberized feet that helps keep its grip. And then over here, you have the start and stop button. On the 7.5 inch meat slicer, you have the on button on the back. All right, let's fire them up and see what they can do. So what I find very impressive is even though this is three times the power, listen to how quiet this is. That is extremely quiet. All right, now compare that to the sound of the 7.5 inch. All right, to do this test, we have some smoked turkey breast. This was so easy to make. I basically took the breast off the turkey. I seasoned it up, turned on the smoker to 275, let it come up to about 160 internal. And once it came up to temp, I put it in a Ziploc bag and into the freezer it went. And I just thawed these out. So if you want to make your own deli meats, uh, definitely worth a try. And there is no preservatives. You get to carry it from start to finish. All right, I'm going to take the dial. I'm going to turn it. Let's see what we get with three. 
I'm going to take our breast. And what's cool is you have these like these meat claws that really stick and help grip. And now we are going to run it through. Wow. Pretty much like butter. I got to say I am thoroughly impressed right now. This turkey is paper thin and yet so much flavor. You know what's funny? Truthfully, I didn't actually want to like this because I liked how the other one was very compact and stored away so easy. So is it worth the $100 more than the compact version? Absolutely. If this is what you want to do and you want to make deli meat, you want to make your own beef jerky, you can cut it as thin as you want it. It worked flawlessly. There was not one issue that I had with it. The performance you're not going to get out of the other one other than it is very compact. So again, if you're in an apartment and then you really don't have a lot of space, I'm not knocking the 7.5. It's great. Uh, if I've never used this, I wouldn't have anything to compare it to. So I kind of stopped eating. It's so good. Mm. I was going to use this one to cut up on the other one, but seeing as how good this turned out, I want to give it another go. All right, round two, here we go. Put this down like so. If you're not making your own deli meat, definitely worth looking into. My gosh, this was so easy to smoke, prepare, slice, and it doesn't even compare to what you'd actually get like in the store already pre-packaged. If you were interested in checking out any of the Vivor meat slicers, they did give you guys a discount code. So Viver Sale 5 will get you 5% off on your order. I will put all that information in the product description. Before I end this video, I am going to take this inside and clean it, and then I will give you my final thoughts. All right, we are back and cleaning and actually sharpening this blade was substantially easy. The 7.5 Again, great at being compact, but it has so many nooks and crannies that really are hard to access. So when you're trying to get meat out, it really is kind of a pain in the butt. This was, again, just so much easier to clean. There was really no spots that the meat can kind of hide away where you really can't get. The sharpening unit on top here was really easy to use after that was done. Gave it one more cleaning just to get off all that residue. But now this blade is razor sharp and ready to use again. So as much as I love the 7.5, I would say it is absolutely worth the upgrade getting something commercial. I just need to find space for it now. If you do have any questions about either of these units, I will be happy to answer that. But other than that, I will catch you guys in the next one. All right, girls, starting out.